finally the new motor for the Hyper ST has arrived. Uh, Surpass Rocket 4092 uh, 1650kV. I've already had one of these motors before as you might have seen but unfortunately the end bell or the end cap fell off so I ordered a replacement on the 26th of May and today it's like uh, the middle of August so it's taken um, like a month now in fact two and a half months to come that's crazy anyway it's taken ages to come so let's open it up see what we've got it's come from Singapore rather than China uh, that's where the uh, shipping label was from anyway so there we go 4092 1650kV now I have done a KV test uh, of one of these before motor chest Tuesday but as you may know every single motor is slightly different so I am going to redo a KV test for this specific motor and then it's going to be going back in the Hyper ST or in the Hyper ST for the first time now these are the screws back here which fell out on my other one so I'm going to make sure that they're tight before I put it in the truck this time. So uh, yeah, let's get it set up on the motor tester and see what KV it is. Before I do the KV test, I just want to give you a quick size comparison so you can see the difference, uh, how much bigger the 4092 is than a 4076 and a 4074 as well as a 3660. So... That is basically how much longer it is there, it's 20-ish millimetres. Um, and you can see these are both surpass motors, this is the 2000 KV 4076 out of my x-ray which blew up the other day. So yeah, you can see it's quite a bit bigger and with the ribs on as well, makes it a little bit thicker. Although the actual uh, rotor diameter on the 4092 is the same as the... Uh, 4076s. So the other thing that's different is the bullet size. So on your 4076 um, these bullets are uh, actually the same size as a Hobbywing 3660. So I think these are like 4mm or something. I mean, these probably plug into a Max 8 ESC, a Hobbywing Max 8 that is. Whereas these bullets here uh, these are 6.5 millimeters, I think, and these basically just plug into a Hobbywing Max 6 directly. Um, now the 4074 is basically only two millimeters shorter, so we won't um, compare it too much to that really. Uh, but the last one I wanted to do was a 3660 compared to a 4092, and you can see the difference there both in diameter and height it's completely a different scale this is what I run in the team magic um, yeah it's a, you can see the model there it's a 3660 SL 3200 kV so this is the same as your standard 3660 motor which you'd run in a temp scale and uh, that's what you run in an ape scale so yeah <laughs> size difference is uh, pretty funny Anyway, I'll go on to the uh, the KV testing now and see what it does on the motor tester. Right, so we've got the usual setup. Got the Sky RC motor analyzer, which you can't really see because this motor is so massive. Uh, just to confirm, it is the same motor on the uh, motor tester there, and we are using the usual. Um, 2S pack, obviously the tester takes 2S, measure all of the motors with the same 5.6 amp hour battery at storage charge. So the first thing I need to do is set the number of poles to 4 pole. Right, and then we'll go straight into the KV test. Six hundred and ninety. Not too bad. Very quiet, very smooth. 
Right, so 1691 kV, 5.5 amps, it is very quiet. Uh, but I'm just going to test it again, so I'll reset it. Wind it up. So yeah, this one is nearly 1700 kV. Which is interesting actually. Um, because the last one I had was 1776. Uh, I don't know the amperages, I'll have to uh, check that on my uh, spreadsheet and have a look. But this, this motor is slightly higher kV than the other one. So that is interesting. Uh, we'll do a noise test as well. If I can see the screen around the motor. <laughs> Should be pretty quiet. It's, uh, oops. Feels pretty smooth this one. Spectacular. If I can... Uh, there we go. So there we go, 81 decibels. That is uh, pretty smooth, I think that's about the same as the other one. Seems like a, a pretty nice mower. So we'll get it stuck in the Hyper ST. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty pleased with that. Seems like a good one. Right, that'll be uh, it for this video maybe. Or Motor Test Tuesday anyway. So... See you in the next one, goodbye.